Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Acacia. And I'm Ellen. And today we're going to be talking about symmetry in nature. So Ellen, what is symmetry? Symmetry is a math term that means an object does not change forms to various transformations and it is balanced. And what is asymmetry? Asymmetry is the opposite of symmetry, meaning that it does change transformations and is unbalanced. Hmm. There are two types of symmetry. You have reflectional, also known as bilateral symmetry, and rotational, also known as radial symmetry. Hmm. Reflectional symmetry is when you take an object and you can split it down the middle <laughs> and on each side it is mirrored, meaning they are the same on each side. Hmm. Rotational symmetry is when you take an object and it has a central point and no matter where you turn it, it is still the same. Therefore, it has rotational symmetry. So today what we'll be doing is we are going to look at a few objects and you guys are going to help us decide if they are symmetrical and what type of symmetrical or if they're asymmetrical. Okay, so our first object we have is this image here. So can you tell me, is this asymmetrical or symmetrical? If you said symmetrical, you are correct. So now we have to see, is it rotationally symmetrical or is it reflectionally symmetrical? Which one do you think? If you said rotationally symmetrical, you are correct. So now we're going to look at this sleeve. Do you guys think this sleeve is symmetrical or asymmetrical? If you said symmetrical, you are correct. Now, since it's symmetrical, do you think it is reflectional or rotational? If you said reflectional, you are correct, because if you cut this leaf down the middle, it would be the same on both sides. Now, let's look at this onion. Is this onion asymmetrical or symmetrical? It's reflectional, because if you split it down the half, it's gonna be the same on both sides. Great. The next object we have is a butterfly. Do you guys think this is symmetrical or asymmetrical? If you said symmetrical, you are correct. Now, do you think it is rotational or reflectional? If you said reflectional, you are correct because if you cut the object down the side, it is the same on both sides, down the middle. All right, now let's look at this flower. Do you think this flower is asymmetrical or symmetrical? If you said symmetrical, you are correct. Is it rotationally symmetrical or reflectionally symmetrical? If you said rotationally symmetrical, then you are correct. Because if you look at the center point and you turn it, it's still the same. The next object we have is this leaf. Do you guys think this leaf is symmetrical or asymmetrical? If you said asymmetrical, you are correct. Because unlike the first leaf, this leaf would not be symmetrical if you cut it down the center because it bends and the leaves are not lined up. Now let's look at this apple. This apple, is it symmetrical or asymmetrical? If you said symmetrical, you are correct. Is this apple rotationally symmetrical or reflectionally symmetrical? If you said reflectional, then you are correct. Because if you were to split it in half, it is the same on both sides. For our last object, we have this flower. Do you guys think this flower is symmetrical or asymmetrical? If you said asymmetrical, you are correct. Because if you cut this flower down the middle, it does not look the same on both sides. So, see if you can go into nature, maybe in your front yard or your backyard, and find some pieces of nature that have symmetry and asymmetry. See if you can put them into categories of reflectional or rotational symmetry. And if they're not symmetrical, then asymmetrical. And thank you for joining us today.